Hey guys, so I have the most ridiculous haul for you. Like I have it all spread out on the table in front of me and I'm actually embarrassed at the amount that I've spent over the last two months maybe. I can't stand to look at this any longer. I kept all of the boxes from the things because I wanted to show you like the packaging and how it came and some of them are really beat up so <laughs> I didn't keep them very safe um, and I am looking forward to throwing away all of the packaging but anyway let's get started and this one is one of the ones that's beat up. It's the Dose of Colors Terra Collection. My mum bought me this and it has these three shades here this one's sand stone and brick and i have to say the formulation's not my favorite it's a little bit tacky on the lips uh, even after it's dried it doesn't dry down to a fully matte finish so i'm not 100 percent on the finish of them but the colors are really pretty i'll insert swatches of the products that i show you if it's applicable and if i can be bothered i have two of the new lip glosses i have the ones in dainty and undressed undressed here is the nude shade on the top and then you have dainty underneath which is a peachy pink shade both right up my alley and the formulation of the lip glosses are really silky and smooth and they're not tacky they feel really really nice on the lips and they're really opaque i absolutely adore Door, the Anastasia lip glosses. I have to pick up more of them because they are so nice. Then my partner's mum came over from Australia and she bought me one of the Kerastase Serum. It's in French. Hair Youth Serum. And it comes in this bottle here. It's really nice. You spray it on the roots of your hair in like five sections. You massage it into your hair and then you blow dry your hair. And then your hair is so smooth and full of volume. I don't know. I really like it. So I'm so thankful that she brought me that. I have one more thing that's not Sephora that I am super excited about. The chocolate and favorites. Inside of the palette, it's just all these beautiful warm shades. There are some purples, a random green shade, which I despise when people put random green shades in their palettes. I just fucking hate it. But I love everything else about it. There's some really pretty golds and oranges here. I'm sure you've heard a whole lot about it. And unfortunately this is also limited edition and sold out. So you can't get it. So I feel like a jackass even showing you. But if you do have it and you wanted me to maybe do a look on it. Let me know because I can have a play. So far just using it the one time that I have used it. I really like the quality of the shadows. They're really nice and they blend easily. Looking at the palette itself I was kind of like. And the first two sellings that they did of the palette, I was like, no, don't need it. And I said to my partner, I was like, no, we don't need it. That's okay. And then uh, Jacqueline did a Snapchat. She's like, they're half sold out because it was the, the last release of it. I was like, I've got to have it. 100% have to have it. Don't know what happened to me. I get mad FOMO. The next thing I got from Sephora uh, was the Tartlet palette. This box is one of the ones that's a bit better. You've probably also heard a whole lot about the Tartlet palette. It's really pretty on the inside. Purples and uh, browns, just really neutral, pretty shades. There's a black in there, which I always really appreciate a black. There's not a lot of warmth in there at all. I wish there was some caramel colours and some warm red colours maybe in the top row, which they say is supposed to be the warm row. It's not actually that warm. It's definitely more neutral. And then the bottom's quite cool. And then the middle's like purpley and stuff. I do wish that they had some awesome warm browns in there. I also got another palette. This is the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. I Art Artist Palette. I Art Artist? Surely not. I Art Artist. And this palette was sold out when I first went to look at it so I knew I had to have it. As soon as it got back in stock I got them to email me. Here are the shades and I will do a close up for you. And the quality of this palette is really nice as well. I'm, I like that I got it. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a thicker casing and it has a really nice magnetic closure which I absolutely love. So I do really like that but I'm starting to feel like I just have a million and one purple palettes at the moment. Then I got the uh, Makeup Forever Artist palette. What was going on with me? What was even happening? 
is really pretty. Unlike the Tarte palette, which is all mattes, this is all shimmers. There's nothing particularly warm about it. The colors don't come up true to what they look like in the pan. I find when the colors are actually swatched, they look a lot nicer. Like this one here is quite warm, which is surprising. That one there is really quite warm, um, which I absolutely love. And then you have some really pretty champagne shades. All of the shadows seem to be really consistent in pigmentation and in the quality of the shadows and they're really nice. Then I got some of the Smashbox contour sticks. I'm holding them there because my the bottom of the box broke off. Throw it in the bin. So it's basically three crayon type products that you draw on your face, blend out, and it's supposed to look really natural and seamless. The highlight shade isn't quite light enough for my skin tone. I think if you had a darker, more tan skin tone this would be an awesome highlight because it's not going to be too stark but if you're fair like me you're not going to really see it sharp so what I like to do is I like to I will draw the contour in a little triangle shape here I will do the bronze over top bronze around my face bronze down here and along my chin and blend it all out and then when I'm blending it out because I blend it with my beauty blender it can sometimes look a little bit muddy so I will take the highlight shade and I will draw a line underneath my contour blend that out and then it just sharpens up my contour and cleans up any messiness and you can really carve out your face exactly how you want it so I'll put my foundation on and then I can even draw contour like in this area here because it's so natural that I can really carve out my cheekbones where I want them not just stopping here like I would with powder but I really manipulate how my face looks which is really cool and then I'll also go down my nose and it looks really natural there it doesn't look too muddy I got one of the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizers this one is the smoothing one it slides really smoothly onto the face it fills and pours I really like it and I have the hydrating one on the way which I'm excited to use because I've heard lots of good things about it and to go with that because I knew that they would be a good accompaniment because they're from the same brand I finally got some of the Makeup Forever HD foundation this one here is in the shade 117 in case you're wondering and it is a shade Shade too light so I have got the next shade up as well but it is beautiful you hear people talking about things and you hear it hyped up on YouTube and you're like no I don't think I'm gonna get that but this actually lives up to the hype I apply it with my beauty blender which is my favorite way to apply it I have applied it with a brush before and I found it was quite heavy but when I applied it with my beauty blender it seemed to take away all the excess product make it really smooth the finish is beautiful it's kind of satiny and it lasts throughout the day it's not too matte and it's just stunning I love it I just am waiting for the one in my shade I hope it's not too dark but then I guess I could just mix them so it doesn't matter I got some of the Tarte Maracuja oil I've heard a whole lot of good things about them I am waiting currently on my Anastasia cream contour kit and I actually saw many MUA and Jaclyn Hill using a couple of drops of this onto their cream contour palette and then mixing it in and then putting it on because it is so highly pigmented it can be quite hard to blend apparently. I don't have one but I knew that I had to pick this up before I got my contour kit. The Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita. I have heard so much about this lipstick. It is so pretty. And it is this dark ready brown shade. This liquid lipstick is my favourite liquid lipstick I have ever ever tried because it dries to a super matte finish so there's no tackiness whatsoever when it's tacky I feel like I need to put something on my lips so when it is completely dry and it doesn't budge then I can go a lot longer I got the Kat Von D shade and light palette and it is awesome I have the Anastasia contour kit and this blows that out of the water. It has three highlight shades, three contouring shades. This one here in the middle is a warmer tone which I use on a big fluffy brush all over my face. This one here is a cooler tone shade I can use as a contour. This one here is a really dark shade I can use this very lightly just to carve out the very start of my contour. So I try to utilize all of the dark shades. The light shades, I mix these two together and I set underneath my eyes. I will use this one on its own to set the areas on my face, the other highlighted areas on my face. This one here I will use and I will use it to carve out the bottom of my contour again. So it's not as stark as these two. It looks quite like my skin tone when I put it on and it just really carves out and cleans up that line. I don't know if I've ever had that much use out of a product before where I use every single shade. What a great product. Because that was such a great product, I also had to get the Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I haven't actually used this surprise, surprise with all of my new shit. I haven't used most of it. But it looks awesome. It comes with this little booklet. And on the inside, it is just a bunch of 
neutral pretty much matte shades there's some warmer ones which you know i love some warm 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 black there's some taupey shades there's a cream shade there's just some awesome shades in here Kat Von D has just killed it and inside her packaging it's really cute she's got little stars there's just huge attention to detail and I absolutely love that she has the names of all of them on the back even though I can't pronounce half such as I can't pronounce most of them. I have never picked up a 500 point perk I was saving it for something special and I'm glad that I did I still have many more but that's okay I got this Tarte one which has now sold out so it sold out pretty quickly so I was lucky to get it and they come like this and then the sleeve pops off and it's a Sephora box in this box here we got one of the Park Avenue Princess bronzers. This one I think is the shimmery one. I have the matte one and it's a really good size. Maybe the size of one of the Anastasia contour powders. And then I got one of the Tarte Gifted mascaras which I used today and it's quite eh, nothing special. I also I've opened it. One of the Maracuja C Brightener Eye Creams from Tarte which I have had a pottle of before and it's alright, it's not nothing spectacular but I do like it. Then I got one of the, the Tarte Brazilian Self Tanners, 15 mils, and the powder is 3.2 grams. So 15 mils um, and I used it on my arms and legs last night and it's, it's an alright colour, it's a little bit orangey actually. And then also in this pack you got one of the Brazilian Facial tanning towelettes um, but I have used it and thrown it away but I actually found it didn't really do much it didn't really tan me at all I woke up in the morning and I looked exactly the same as when I went to bed so I don't think I'll be buying those <laughs> then my next 500 point perk and the last thing in this haul was the Bumble and Bumble invisible oil 500 point perk and this one's heavy and you open it up and it has some really decent sized products in here so firstly is the shampoo and conditioner, they are wet and right out of my shower and I have been using these for the last like two times that I've washed my hair and I really like them. Along with the primer, which is a spray bottle, you spray it all over your hair and then you can heat style it. And you got one of, you got like a little sample here of the invisible oil hair oil which is um quite nice as well it doesn't leave my hair as oily as my redken oil is at the moment it's not as heavy so i really like it but anyway that is all i got for my haul so i hope you kind of enjoyed it maybe i've given you some ideas for things you want to buy and maybe you just enjoy watching other people spend all their money so i will see you in my very next video bye